How to Wiz IQ Basic Training. This is George again, and we're now at 205, 205, uploading to class before it starts. Let's jump over here. Um, you go to My Stuff, My Classes. This is actually how we launch a class. And sometimes you might find that it's already launched, but we see live and upcoming classes. EduPunk is the class we I'm happy to use. And if it's already running, it would would be open. But right now we're we're saying that we're going in ahead of time. Some of you do not have premium accounts, so you cannot go into your class beforehand. But here we are in the classroom now, and I have made it bigger to help you find things, so I have to move it around some. But that's all it takes to open the class, and you can with a premium account you can open it up a year ahead of time and put things in. Now we said we have content library. Oh, we're not going to look at that right now. I forgot. We're going to do that later with our other things. But to upload in a class like if you don't have, you can also just grab things from your desktop. I looked at, I'm sorry I'm going too fast. There's a white piece of paper with a um, green arrow. Upload from desktop. Click on that. Now I can go into my desktop and upload anything. Um, even some files that don't go in otherwise. Now, we look, we could not open um, pictures, but I can upload a picture now. And I can bring that into my classroom. I can move it around. I can make it smaller. No biggie, but let's say I want that for my cover page. And then here I'm going to quickly show you grabbing that file that we already uploaded from our content library. And there it is. We just click Add to Class, and boom, it's in that fast. Uh, PDFs and bigger files would take a long time to upload if you uploaded from your desktop. So that's all there is. This was a simple one um, from uploading. And remember that uh, you're going to have some problems getting started. These, there's a lot of little steps. I've done it this a long time. Truthfully, it's a skill. Do not try to approach this as something you can read a manual on 20 times or listen to this, these video tutorials 20 times and expect yourself to get it. It's actually a skill and the, and the ability to think around things and quickly grab things. Using all these tools we'll be going over pretty quickly. Um, how to use the tools, how to switch back and forth between the tools. And um, well, that's not showing up very good today. Well, we'll get into that later. But uh, using tools and as you repeat using them. So maybe your first couple of classes you're just going to upload a picture and a file and that's it. Don't try to get fancier than that. Um, one other type of file I'm going to show you quickly that we can upload into our the only way you want to upload these video and audio files is from your content library because those tend to be very big let's grab a, a video or an audio oh here's just a simple one okay this is just a simple special effect now we have a, a media player okay so we can also load a link to a YouTube video. Um, we can grab things from our content library here and bring them in, looking at our different types of files, MP3s, and we can load them into our class here also. So that's another thing to upload before a class begins. Obviously putting a few notes on the board might be nice before you begin having that ready for yourself. But, um, let me, oops, what did I do with it? There it goes. Okay, uh, even putting some fun things on uh, before you go to class, you can put things in. So that's all I wanted to show you today, and we'll, the next one we're going to be getting into actually using the tools. So that's all. Bye-bye.